Fort Worth is considering a ban on open containers for its West 7th Entertainment District. The proposal is an effort to stop a spike in criminal activity in that area. Fox News' Dion Anglin is live in Fort Worth tonight. Dion. Hi there, Steve. Well, city officials are essentially saying they do not believe crime or the amount of crime would be what it is currently in this area if people were not allowed to venture outside these businesses with alcohol. It's perhaps Fort Worth's fastest developing and thriving district, the West 7th Street Corridor. An influx of apartments, restaurants, and nightlife, but also a spike in crime. This scene from September 2021, an argument turned gunfight, left one man injured and another behind bars. This is an initiative that I brought forward um, as a way to try to get a handle on some of the chaos that we are experiencing in and around uh, the West 7th area. Now an effort to pass an ordinance banning open containers and public consumption of alcohol in an outlined area that includes West 7th. We want to reduce the number of incidents, really the violent incidents uh, involving these underage individuals. An informal report states overall crime is up 15% in the area, public intoxication 8%. When comparing January to October the past two years, much of it, according to the report, due to people under 21. They're just lording around the area. Um, some of them are drinking, some of them are not. Uh, they kind of stand around and they meander along with all the crowds that are going on. Normally that's not an issue, um, but what usually happens is as the bars are letting out, uh, confrontations occur. If the council approves the ordinance, police say they can step up prevention and enforcement. But right now, if we, it's hard to determine sometimes somebody that's 18, 19, or 20 years old, and if we approach them, unless we have a definitive uh, clue that they're under 21 years of age, we can't really ask them for their ID because they don't have to provide it. A map defining the new open container law was designed with future growth in mind, including new restaurants and bars that may come about near the district's outskirts. And the reason we did that um, was so that uh, for a change, we can be proactive in the West 7th Corridor as opposed to being reactive. Now, the City Council is expected to vote on the open container ordinance one week from today, November 8th. It's the very latest live here in Fort Worth. Steve, back to you. Okay, Dion, thank you.